In this video, we're going to look at a site called Quizzes. Uh, that's Q-U-I-Z-I-Z-Z.com. You'll need to create a free account. And let's start the tour. To begin with, there's a public section. and Here's where you can search for existing quizzes that people have made that are, um, that are public. So you, and if you mouse over each one, it's going to show you the content. So if I, I searched for fractions, if I match over this, this is a true or false question, um, followed by some open-ended questions, etc. A couple of blanks in there, etc. And while there may be some public quizzes, um, here's some on Thanksgiving, Christmas, Ancient Egypt, logos. While you may find something in there, you may also want to be creating your own, or students can actually create their own with their, with their own accounts. So to do that, you click on Create. There's some required information, such as a quiz name. Come on. Um, you have to choose a language. English is the default. You can make it public or private. And you can add an image if you want. So let me just do that. Just a random image I have there. And once that's finished, I'll say done. Now, um, before I do, notice that up in the upper right hand corner is an import from file option. If you click on this, you'll see that you can bring a CSV file up to create your quiz. So that's actually a really nice option if you happen to have um, some of your questions, etc., already typed out, already on paper somewhere. This is a good option. I find it much easier to and quicker to edit an Excel file than to edit questions individually in these in these windows. And of course, you can take an Excel file and then output it as a CSV. It'll work perfectly. Now they do give you a sample file to show you how it works got one open over here just so you can see and basically column A consists of the question and then you can have up to four options you can notice that three and four are optional while one and two are required so this might be a true or false question and column F has simply a number from one to four as to which of those four options is the correct answer. And then the last column is, is how long each question should appear. So the default, if you leave that blank, is 30 seconds, but you can, um, you can adjust that. You can make it longer or shorter if you'd like. So if you build out your quiz here, you can simply upload that and the quiz will appear. I'm not going to save that right now. Okay, once you have created your quiz, you'll see that you're on your first question. And you can type your question up here. And we'll say You can put your answer choices below, and again, the first two are required, the second two are not. Simply click on the word incorrect to change it to correct and designate the correct answer. And here's a preview of the question right here. Now I can also add an image. Um, so let me just come out here to Google. Give them a little hint something that will help them remember so I will save that to my desktop Oop, there we are and there it is And it's previewing the image over there. Okay. You can see that I can give them anywhere from 5 seconds to 15 minutes for the question. A 
I'll leave it as default for right now. You'll also see that there are some basic options up here uh, for formatting the text. And that really has to do with um, superscript, subscript, change of color. So some very basic settings. Superscript and subscript is, is uh, very useful in terms of, of doing science or math work. And you simply say, I'd like a new question. You can always go back and edit your quiz info, which is the basic information. You can see that that was a pretty um, irrelevant picture that I chose. And then just say finish. Now when you finish, you have to give it a grade level. So maybe this is just a straight up third grade quiz. So from three to three or from three to four or whatever you'd like as a range. Um, you can choose from categories down here. So uh, let's choose history for that one. And then once you do choose history, see if I choose phys ed, I'm going to get certain categories. If I choose the arts, I'll get other suggested topics, but um, I don't have to use them, but I can. So let's call this... Um, I guess let's call it, well, let's call it American history. We could do multiples. We could call it government in American history if we wanted. You can also add tags here to make it searchable. Finish and create quiz. Okay. Once created, you have the option to duplicate it. You can always go back and edit it. You can delete it. You can see a history. Okay. Underneath, this is a link to the quiz. So if you were to share this, your students would be able to come in and take that quiz. Um, there are also options to post it to Twitter, Pinterest, Google+, Facebook, etc. You can play it live. So if you proceed, this is what your quiz will look like. This is the code to enter the game. So you'll have to supply the code as well. Supply the code there and proceed. Okay, so this is me for the moment. I'm currently ranked number one in this quiz because I'm the only one taking it. And when a student has finished the game, they can simply exit it. Okay, when I come back to my screen, you can see that Joe has taken that test. They got the first one correct, the second one incorrect. And now you can see by question that this was answered correctly every time, and this one was answered incorrectly every time at the moment. Okay. You can go over the questions, review them yourself, and see which is correct and which is incorrect. Uh, you can export the results if you really want to you can play again. Okay, when I come back to my quizzes being logged in, you can see that I now have one test quiz. That if I do click on that quiz, that it will show me my questions. It would allow me to edit, etc. 
And there's also an option up here that you can um, assign it for homework. So all that really does is it gives you a due date, a time and a date that um, the quiz is due by for your students. Okay, there is a section for reports. So this is a report of quizzes you've actually taken. So, um, or completed. So here I completed this test quiz six minutes ago. And it will tell you total number of players, accuracy, you know. You can sort it by date range, so just look at the results that come in within a certain range, etc. And those are the basics. Those are the basics. A nice little program. It's, it's fun for students. Um, fun for students and, and a good way to get them focused.